giant sloth pendants indicate humans settled the Americas much earlier than thought. Now, this research has been going on since 2017, where they uncovered some evidence that suggested people may have lived in Brazil more than 20,000 years ago. It is now confirmed sloth bone pendants indicate humans arrived in South America 25 to 27,000 years ago. Holy macaroni. In fact, new research suggests humans lived in South America at the same time as now extinct giant sloths, bolstering evidence that people arrived in the Americas much earlier than thought. Now, scientists analyzed triangular and tear-shaped pendants made of, made of bony material from the sloths, and they concluded that the carved and polished shapes and drilled holes were the work of deliberate craftsmanship. Dating of the ornaments and sediment at the Brazil site where they found the points to an age of 25,000 to 27,000 years ago. The researchers reported that several thousand years before some earlier theories had suggested the first people arrived in the Americas after migrating out of Africa and then Eurasia. We now have good evidence together with other sites from South and North America that we have to rethink our ideas about the migration of humans to the Americas, said Miriam Lisa Alves Franchielli Pacheco, study co-author and archaeologist at the Federal University of Sao Carlos in Brazil. In the past decade, other research has challenged the conventional wisdom that people didn't reach the Americas until a few thousand years before rising sea levels covered the Bering Land Bridge between Russia and Alaska, perhaps about 15,000 years ago. The problem is that with all of these new discoveries, that doesn't hold weight. The ornaments were discovered about 30 years ago at a rock shelter called Santa Alina in Central Brazil. The new study is the first to analyze them extensively and rule out the possibility that humans had found and carved them thousands of years after the animals had perished, perhaps. The team of researchers from Brazil, France, and the U.S. said their analysis shows that this handiwork was done within days to just a few years after the animals had died and before the material had even fossilized. The researchers also ruled out natural abrasion and other things that might explain the shapes and holes. They reported their findings on Wednesday in Britain's Proceedings of the Royal Society B Journal. And I quote, We think they were personal objects, possibly for personal adornment, said Thias Rabito Ponzi, study co-author and paleontologist at the Federal University of Sao Carlos in Brazil. Once among the largest creatures in South America, giant ground sloths were 10 to 13 feet in length, that's 3 to 4 meters, and usually walked on all four legs, using their sharp claws to dig barrows. They weighed more than 1,000 pounds, which is 450 kilograms, and their skin included bony structures under their fur, somewhat similar to the bony plates of modern armadillos. And these babies could dig tunnels on the edge of rivers for hundreds of feet, if not miles. Now, two years ago, another team of researchers reported finding fossilized human footprints near White Sands in New Mexico, and we covered that on an earlier podcast. These footprints here dated back 21,000 to 23,000 years ago. Though some researchers dispute these dates because for decades, every time we push human habitation on a continent further into the past, everyone pushes back. Other evidence from Mexico suggests a human presence about 26,000 years ago, and findings from Uruguay suggest human occupation as much as 30,000 years ago. So there is overwhelming evidence in North and South America, that humans have been here for quite a long time. Now, Jennifer Raff, 
an anthropological geneticist at the University of Kansas who was not involved in the study, says the new paper was an important addition to the conversation. But like any findings on the topic, it may also draw pushback. <laughs> what else is new? It takes 30 years for a paradigm shift. So it won't be until we're all long and dead before people learn about these 23,000-year-old footprints in white sands or the 27,000-year-old sloth pendants from Brazil. Now, some may have died out, but it's very likely that multiple waves of people came to America, according to the authors, which is exactly what we believe. We actually believe there was human occupation here for perhaps tens of thousands of years earlier than anyone has suggested. That's why you tune into these podcasts, so you can be enlightened by new information and come up with your own conclusions. And that is a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Hope you got something out of the video. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and need your help to grow. Become a Patreon, support the work we do, and be safe. We love you.